Welcome to the doctor's kitchen. I'm gonna be showing you a brand new recipe from my new book, Eat to Beat Illness. These are Thai style salmon burgers. Super easy, tons of herbs. You're gonna love making these. To kick off this recipe, all you need are two slices of whole grain bread. Now, if you wanted to make it gluten-free, you can use gluten-free bread. The more whole grains, the better. So to make breadcrumbs, and this is a revelation for a lot of people, you just need to put in two pieces of bread into a food processor, and hey presto, you have breadcrumbs. So pop this into a food processor. And that's it, you've got a rough mixture. It's a great way to use up stale bread as well. Stale bread will work just as well in this recipe. This is our base, and now we can start adding all these delicious herbs and the salmon as well. One of the sections in the book is all about brain health. One of the most important nutritional additions to your diet to improve your neuroplasticity, your cognition, the ability of your brain to perform its essential functions is omega-3. And we can get omega-3 from nuts, seeds, but also importantly from wild caught salmon. Now I've got 200 grams of skinless salmon here. Now we're gonna add some spring onions. I'm just gonna chop the ends off here and just roughly chop it. And make sure you use the dark green ends as well. Everyone throws those away, but they're packed full of nutrition and flavor as well. And these go. That beautiful herby flavor, we're gonna go in with coriander. Now again, you don't need to use coriander if you're particularly averse to the flavor. I know there's a lot of people that don't like it. And again, we're using the stalks of coriander because these are really concentrated flavor bases here. A lot of people throw away the stalks, but don't throw these away. They're full of fiber as well. These are gonna go straight into our processor. You'll find lemongrass in loads of supermarkets these days. Um, I mean, it's again, an authentic ingredient. I would definitely not skimp out on this. If you can find kaffir lime leaves, you could also use kaffir lime leaves. Or if you can't find these, then a good couple of squeezes of uh, a lime would work. But we're gonna use the tender base of this. So just chopping this, the end off, but don't throw this away. These are perfect for things like broths. So you can just chuck them in the stock water and then they will infuse a lot of their essential oils and flavor as well. Take the hard outer shell off so I can get to the tender bit at the bottom. Roughly chop it and then this goes into the food processor. Grab your ginger, peel it with the edge of a teaspoon. Roughly chop it into the blender. Roughly chop one red chili into the blender. Couldn't get Thai basil, which is what the recipe calls for, but regular basil will also work just as well. About 15 grams of that. 10 mils of soy sauce. This is gonna give the seasoning element to it and blend. Our blended salmon burger mixture is pretty rough, so we can actually form it into burgers. What I've done is just, I've just put a non-stick pan on low to medium heat, and we're gonna go in with some coconut oil. So we're just gonna melt this in the pan. So all you need is a large tablespoon and you're gonna scoop it with this and then pop it into the palm of your hand, form the patty and then pop it into the pan. So everything goes like a fluid motion here, okay? So the good thing about this is that you can easily cook them and then freeze them and use these later as well. We're gonna make a really simple sauce. This is gonna make sure that you've got a nice moisture base to the salad. That's what I'm serving it with. You could put these in buns as well, but I'm gonna go in with this. So I think it's really, it's a delicious way to, to eat these burgers. So 100 mils of coconut cream, that is solid as a rock. <laughs> it should be a little bit less solid than this, but it will melt in the pan. I'm gonna go in with two teaspoons of just regular Thai curry paste, red Thai curry paste. Whilst that melts in the pan, we can get on with the rest of our green herbs that are gonna go in with our burgers here. So, our greens, I'm just using some pea shoots and some watercress. Any greens will work here. You could use spinach leaves. After about four minutes, you just wanna check that your salmon burgers are nicely browning on one side, which they are. Look at these, incredible. I'm gonna serve up one of these delicious salmon burgers. Just to serve this, what I would suggest is roughly chop in some peanuts. And that is it, Thai style salmon burgers. 
absolutely delicious, super, super packed full of flavor and tons of the health benefits as well. And this really gets you thinking about the different things I write about in Eat to Beat Illness, brain health, inflammation, skin health. There's so many different elements that can be attributable to overall well-being.